Hi, I'm Dr. Joanna Martin from ShiftSpeakerTraining.com. Thanks so much for joining me for this seven part video course on the seven big mistakes that most people make when thinking about starting a career in speaking. You see, I've worked a lot with coaches, consultants, trainers, and solopreneurs who are using public speaking and presentations to grow and promote their business. It's one of the best strategies that you can possibly use. And I have to say, there are seven key mistakes that I see being made time and time again. In this video, I'm gonna share with you mistake number one. <laughs> mistake number one that I see people make when it comes to public speaking is they procrastinate. They just don't do it. And this absolutely blows my mind. You see, I've been um, public speaking now for over five years. And in my experience, nothing has the power to grow your business faster than standing on the platform and sharing your message. In fact, in the most recent business that I launched, I went from zero to half a million dollars in three short months. And I put it down to one simple skill. And that's the skill of being able to deliver an effective presentation that inspires people to take action. Not the sort of presentation where people think, wow, great talk, that was fantastic, she told a good story. But the kind of presentation where at the end of it, people are inspired, they wanna move, they wanna buy your products or services, they wanna come to your workshop, they want to participate in whatever it is you're inviting them to be a part of. And not just me, one of my students took the exact formula I'm talking about here, an effective presentation, and she went out and in one day, in one day, she made over $200,000, which was more than she had made in the entire 12 months preceding that in her business. It's absolutely unbelievable. It moves so fast. Nothing has the position to position you as an expert more quickly. See, I believe that uh, there's, there's something I call the credibility line. And this is something you might want to take some notes on here. The credibility line is like an invisible line that exists somewhere between the speaker and the audience. And when you're on one side of the credibility line, then you're the expert. If you're in the audience's side, if you're listening to the expert, then you're part of the audience. Now, in the end, who's going to make more money, the audience or the expert? Of course, it's the expert because you, that's where you're positioning yourself. Now, the only thing that may, is the difference between you and one of the people that you learn from in your niche, whatever it might be, is that they are out there positioning themselves as the expert. What if you already knew enough? What if everything you've learnt to this point in your life, whether that be business skills, um, family skills, relationship skills, friendship building skills, communication skills, maybe it's uh, recipe skills, cooking, housekeeping, who knows, whatever it is that you have got, uh, that you can teach, you could turn into an incredible speaking business if you just stop procrastinating. <laughs> so why is it that people procrastinate so much when it comes to speaking? Well, here's the big thing that has most of us procrastinate, fear. That's what procrastination boils down to. Now, most people would say, oh, no, no, I'm not afraid. I just, I'll, I'll, I will get to it. I'll get to it later. The reason most people put it off is a fear of something. It might be a fear of rejection, a fear of getting it wrong, a fear of being made a fool of. With the people I've worked with, at the root of things is a not knowing. I've worked with some, one, of my, one of my clients, Joe Harrison, had an overwhelming fear of public speaking when I first met her. These days, I actually work with Jo, she's now part of our team and she's one of my coaches inside of my high-end mentoring program. Now the thing about Jo is that turned things around for her was we gave her a structure, a structure for an effective presentation. And once she knew exactly the steps she needed to take, it was almost as though the fear just dissolved. That and a great little process I share enabled her to overcome her fears, get up on stage and just start sharing her message. And now she gets out there and tells everyone in the world about how, uh, how they can find their soulmate because that's her and her husband Rick's niche. So this is the thing, if fear is holding you back, recognize that if you have a structure about how to put together your presentation, you're more than halfway there. Fear of public speaking 
is really fear of the unknown. It's not knowing how to handle what might happen. It's not knowing exactly what you're going to say. I have to say that I'm a pretty, uh, pretty confident speaker, but if I had to stand up tomorrow and give a presentation about um, astrophysics, I'd probably be pretty nervous as well. <laughs> you see, you need to have your structure together. You need to know your content. But if you know your content and you've got a great structure to deliver it in, you're gonna do really, really well. So that's the first little thing I want you to realize, is get together a structure. To find out more about exactly how to structure your presentation so that you have confidence in that structure and then that confidence will come through when you deliver it, make sure you get yourself a copy of the Shift Presentation Profits Blueprint. In that blueprint, I go into detail about exactly how you should structure a presentation so that it gets you the greatest results, but most importantly, you have confidence that you're delivering something which has uh, power and structure and format to it. Now in our next training, we'll be going into mistake number two. And mistake number two is mistaking a good talk for an effective presentation. You see, there's a huge difference between just delivering a good presentation or giving a good talk and actually being able to deliver a presentation that inspires people to action. So in that blueprint I was telling you about, we're gonna show you exactly those seven steps and we'll go into it in more detail also in this very next video training. So I'll see you in the next training. Once you've finished your training and you're ready for the next step, make sure that you sign up for our free Shift Speaker Training newsletter and get free access to your very own copy of the Presentation Profits Blueprint absolutely free. I've put together this blueprint to take everything that I know about how to create a successful speaking business and put it in one place. Inside the blueprint, you're gonna discover the seven P's for turning your passion into multiple streams of passive income using speaking and the elegant business model. The number one marketing myth that speakers have to ignore if they have even half a chance of succeeding in the industry. The it factor for speakers and how ignoring this means that your speaking career is destined for mediocrity and no one wants that. We'll discover new ways to build your community through video, email and blogging and how that can fast track your speaking success and give you more raving fans than you ever thought possible. We'll also show you why speaking is one of the laziest ways to wealth provided you know how and where to leverage every scrap of effort that you make, as well as much, much more. So, in order to download your very own copy of the Blueprint, take yourself to www.shiftspeakertraining.com slash blueprint. Look for the sign-up form right there on the website. Enter your first name and email address in the box and then click on the button that says Get Instant Free Access. You'll then get a copy of the Blueprint emailed directly to you. You can open it up and in it you will find so much information on how to take your speaking business and make it extraordinary. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video training very soon.